Has anybody seen the guy on YouTube doing the Street Fighter? So far it's taken him nearly three years. I know it's a Kawasaki and this is a Yamaha, but uh, I think I started this at the end of November, this project last year. So I guess that makes me... Welcome back to Johnny's Speedy XJ. Guy was a young boy. A school teacher brought him to school. A moped engine. And he put it in to the workshop price. And then he started it up with an old piece of rope. And the smell and the sound changed my life forever. So, uh, first thing we've got to do today is get some oil in this baby. So, first job is check the drain plug and set it to its torque wrench settings. 43 Newton meters. This engine takes just over three litres, but if you've rebuilt it and it's totally dry, it will take four litres. So your best bet is to get a, a four litre bottle or a five litre bottle. They used to all be five litre bottles, didn't they? But now they're four litres. Okay, so that holds one litre, so I want three of those, but I'll just give probably put two and three quarters in and see what it looks like. So that is one. One down, two to go. Here comes number two. Two down, one to go. Oh my god, I did put the sump plug back in, didn't I? Oh yes, I just talked, talked it down, didn't I? There's number three, but I'm not going to put it all in. Yes, I'll save that bit. What I'm going to do now is uh, turn the engine over and at the same time see if we've got a spark on the spark plug. Doesn't look too bad. But let's see if we've got any ignition still. Oh yes, neutral light's still there. Oh yes, we've got a spark. And not only have we got a spark, we are helping to pump the uh, engine oil round before the bike starts. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
think the battery might need a bit more charge because I've been messing about with it for hours trying to sort the wires out. But I'm happy so far. Could you hear that? Does that not sound sweet or what? Absolutely awesome. I am over the moon at the moment. Get these babies on. Okay, a bit of an update on the exhaust. That side went on perfect. Come round to this side. And it's supposed to go this side. But it wants to go that side. And it's still a big amount of effort to get it to go to that side. When I polished the exhaust up, I did notice like some scarring down here. But it's obviously hit the knot. So just goes to show whenever you fit a complete exhaust fit it all loosely don't tighten any bolts up whatsoever because that's what I've got to do now slacken every single bolt off <sighs> wish me luck yes we have to undo the manifold as well So there we are, all loosened and slackened off. See what we can do now. Yes, the bike certainly put me back in my place, hasn't it? Don't get excited yet, Mr. Rodent. It should be there like that. Can we get this one there like that? I shouldn't think so. Yeah, we might do. We might get away with it now. At least that will stop the uh, scratching of the exhaust, won't it? We can get them on properly. There's a big dent in this one underneath where the wheel nut hits it. So let's try and get them on like that. Oh, now I am sweating to death. Still 80 degrees in the shed. And as you can probably tell, I am shattered. Before I start any more, I'm going to get a cup of tea. And there we are. exhaust on how they should be on both sides so now we're not going to catch they've got a big dent there I don't know if you can see it because before this was on that side I remember so remember when you fit exhausts complete exhaust leave every single bolt loose until you have everything lined up. Now what I've got to do is uh, tighten all the bolts up. See you in a bit. So there we are. All 16 bolts re-tightened up. 
now I forgot what I was going to do next. So anyway, let's get rid of these heated grit, crap, loose, crappy things. I don't think I need heated grips anyway, do I? So I'll get rid of them. And it just so happens I've got two super grips. Spare. somewhere on this side as well so we'll just put these indicators on it for now well, I have enough money to buy some new ones. So let's just test to see if they work. Oh yes. Lovely jabbly. Well that one works. And here's the other one. So I tell me this one don't work. Yeah, that one don't work. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a ball bit. Robbery. Should be three screws in and there's only two. There, no ball bit it, no wonder. So we've got this one what's snapped. Let's see if we can get this one on top and see if there's a ball bit inside. Work, I ask you cry. Yes. <laughs> she can't get the fucking thing out because it's rusted in. Well that didn't work. Smashed the bulb trying to get it out. But uh, luckily I have sort of boxes all over the place with bits of bike bits in them. Bits of bike bits, bits of bike stuff. This was in the spare room. for my action cam. What else we got? Oh, that's a remote alarm system. Shall I put an alarm on it as well? <laughs> oh yes, they're new bearings for the ZXR. So, hopefully these two work. I should do the brand new. So I have those two. And I have those two. So that makes four. So we'll stick those on for the MOT, shall we? Let's check it works. 
where that one don't work. Yeah, that one works. He works. Now, where did I put the one that don't work? Now, I need to get the indicators on there, but I haven't got much room, so let's get the bike off the main stand and push it forward. Pretty cool, what? So we feed that through there. Well, you don't have to, but probably help if you do. A little washer on the back. The hole's a bit big. Put your nut on the back. So that's one. Now I took my back light off. I cannot for the life of me find out where these feed back through the wood guard. There's no old whatsoever trap lot. It's amazing isn't it? You do a simple job five minutes, it takes you two hours. Where the hell do you feed the wires through? Okay, so we've dropped the mud guard again for the 14th time, but I finally found out where they go. If you see down there, a little hole, and that's what that grooves there for. They come up through this little hole. Oh, and I was just about to get my drill out. These wires should thread up through there somehow. There's one. Yeah, there they are. What did I tell you? <laughs> so, st still ain't got my indicators on and it's been an hour. <laughs> Finally, that's the rear indicators. Now I've got to do the front. So let's see if we can get the plastic trim on. Got a little ball there for a little point that goes into the ball. The starters off. Like so. Bit of a right, it? There now these screws are five mil. I'm just amazed that I've got threads on all my holes still. After all those broken bolts, I managed to get every single one out and keep the threads. Well done, Fred. I don't know why it's doing that. It's because it's catching on the reservoir. So uh, let's take it off and restart. Oh. I wasn't actually sure about that. Did you see? Yep. I wasn't actually sure about the reservoir. I think last time it was on the inside. I've just got to undo it and put it on the inside. Come on, you know you want to. There's just a bit of plastic in the way. Let's try that. Perfect. Go again. Take two. And now we can put our little screws in. Get the grease on. 
move it out for the moment. Another one down here. Just leave it loose. Okay, then we can put our grab handle in. Grab handle. Grab handle. These bolts are 10 mil, bit of grease. No, they're not 10 mil, they're 6 mil. 10 mil. That's even a lot, is it? So you hang on along there for dear life and they've got 6 mil bolts in. Okay, now we can put this side on. You know what I've forgotten on the other side, don't you? Forgotten this black trim. Well, that's about as far as I'm going for this one. Uh, thanks for your company again, guys. I think we're getting there. I have uh, got the carburetors out, ready for new parts or whatever I'm going to need. In the process of trying to undo my bolts. So they're a nice nightmare for me to uh, on through the rest of the week so i hope you enjoyed the video and please put a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and as ever i'll see you next week
I see you in another life, brother.